new helmet time. So this is my current one, Nitro. Um, had it about five years now. Um, I think it was about 80 quid. I always go with modular helmets, which is what this is. Um, but I've never owned, uh, like I've always owned budget helmets, like a hundred pound or less. So I found this one, which is the HJC i90, which when it first came out is about 200 quid. And it's on clearance now. I found it on clearance because there's a new model coming out soon. Um, so I actually found this one for 120 delivered, which is an absolute bargain. It's like 80 quid off. Um, so 200 quid is still kind of budget, but it's more kind of budget moving into mid range. Because some of them are like, some helmets are like a grand. It's a bit nuts, like how the prices fluctuate. Um, so the reason I got a new one really, obviously this is five years old, which is when they say you should replace them because the foam can kind of lose its protective qualities or something. Um, I think that's probably more down to UV exposure. I think if I like kept this in the box for 10 years before using it, I'm sure it would still be fine if it's like kept out of direct sunlight, but that's another story. Um, everyone has their own opinion on that. So I wanted comms, so I wanted to be able to hear Google Maps and play music while also having earplugs in to protect my hearing. So I got this cheap little kit. I'll do a separate video on this, I think. Um, I got this cheap kit and it came with the speakers here. And the problem is this helmet doesn't really have any proper cutouts for um, speakers. So I tried kind of slotting them in there, a little gap there, but that's not really like a, a speaker mounting place. So it just pushes against your ear and it's really uncomfortable. So I did start to like cut some of the foam out to make my own kind of gap in the helmet to put the speakers in. But then I stopped and realized like I really shouldn't be doing that. It's just gonna like, you know, you're messing with something that's there to protect your skull and your brain. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave this as a spare. And um, hopefully this one I've heard, it has the cutouts for the speakers. So let's get it unboxed and have a look. And here it is. Quite similar design to my old one really, apart from this is matte black, which I figured would show scratches and fingerprints a bit less obviously. Um, initial impression seems pretty decent. I was actually quite shocked to find that it came with a pin lock insert in the box, which it didn't say that in the advertisement, so that's a massive win. I've never actually used pin lock before, so, but from what I've heard is, um, it basically reduces the amount of uh, misting you get, like when you're breathing in the helmet. Or supposedly completely gets rid of that, so I look forward to trying that out. But yeah, here's the helmet, so you can grab this on either side, so you can use your left or right hand. And you've got your internal sun visor, and your lift quite difficult oh no that's just a vent quite hard to do uh, with one hand while I'm trying to hold the camera but let's see how do we lift this up ah oh, there we go so you pull that back and that clicks into so got our manual in here really not a professional video I'm afraid but there we go and the main thing I wanted to check for is there a mounting for my comms. It feels like there is. Let's have a look. Yeah, do you see that gap in the plastic there? So I can slot a speaker. I know that the lighting isn't great, but right there is where the speaker goes and then I guess you fold that back over which I guess would muffle it a little bit but yeah I don't know we'll have to see but yeah there it is
quite a nice looking helmet I think. This already feels quite a lot more secure than this one but that could be an age thing as well. Who knows. Standard kind of buckle there with quick release. Pretty nice. Uh, size medium. Uh, my head circumference is uh, 57 I believe. So I'm on the smaller side of medium. But um, it should be fine. So what I'm going to do after I've put the uh, pin lock in is install this and hopefully it all fits and I'll do a separate video on this because it's only a cheap kit I'm not expecting like Beats by Dr. Dre sound quality but um, it should be fine just to hear directions a bit easier and some music so yeah that's it out with the old in with the new so I'm going to go on a long ride tomorrow so I can thoroughly test this out and test out the comms and then I'll continue the video after I've had that ride or maybe even during, we'll see. So yeah. So I've been riding since half 10 this morning and it's now 3.20 and I've had the helmet on pretty much that whole time. Um, overall I'm really happy with it. The uh, vents are so much better than my old one. Um, it's a very hot day today, it's about 26 degrees which is hot in England and uh, I can really feel like the the vents like they really help you get fresh air like running over your head and uh, also around your mouth um, which is really nice the sun shade is brilliant it's like it's a really nice tint um, you can adjust it in like three separate levels I'll just show you I don't really like myself on camera but yeah really really good um no issues with the flip front like you pull it up and it kind of clicks into place it's like a really reassuring click um it's quite light and it's quite good for wind noise but obviously i always ride with them um, earplugs anyway my comms unit fits perfectly fine in the little holes there's no ear pain the only negatives I would say about the helmet are one, it's very tight on my cheeks. So, I don't know if that will really show. This is a medium, and my head size is like borderline medium, so I'm a very small medium. But it's not too bad with this up, but when I flip this down, it pinches these together, and it's really tight on my cheeks. And I'm not like, an overweight guy I'm six foot and about 12 stone eight and um, could do with losing a few pounds but let's not get bogged down with who needs to lose weight um, but yeah it's very tight on the cheek so when the visor when the flip point is down and this is all tight I struggle to like bite my teeth together without chewing on the sides of my mouth it's like my inner cheek um, my previous helmet was like that as well and I ended up cutting foam out of the um, cheek pads but then over time the more I wore the helmet it actually got loose like too loose so I think this time I'm going to persevere with it just leave it as it is um, and hopefully it should kind of mould to my face shape a bit better because I feel like a chipmunk, chipmunk at the minute um, but over time the foam should kind of flatten back a little bit and it won't be so tight on my cheeks. If not, HJC do sell different size ones of these. Or if I wanted to be a cheapskate, I could pull it out, cut some of the foam out um, and uh, put it back in. So yeah, the only other negative I would say about the helmet is um, with this really good visor here. If you're riding along at anything more than about 45 um, it tends to direct airflow right underneath it and up into your eyes so it can make your eyes a bit watery and dry but I only ever really ride with this up at like 30 40 mile an hour or less I don't really ride quickly with it up I just don't think it's very safe um, so yeah that's it really Let's see if I can show you I'll show you what it's like with this down you also get a good chin strap like here which reduces wind noise 
and then there's a vent here somewhere and a vent here and then I'll just show you a side on if I can and that's it really you lift this up and then the uh, dark tint visor mechanism is here so you just flip that up so yeah and there's my comms unit as well that's another thing actually um, fitting the comms unit there's quite a lot of wiring under these cheek pads which isn't going to help the problem I've got so when I get home I think I'm going to um, sort of tear it all out and then try and install it a bit neater so you get less of these wires around the cheek pads but um, yeah overall it's a big upgrade to my nitro helmet I was using uh, before so I'm really happy with it